What you doing, cuties? Meow. Well, I kind of want to update you guys on some random information that I keep getting questions asked for over and over again, the same questions. So first of all, the 77 Dodge van that I had at the farm for a few years, the old brown one, I took for scrap last fall, even though there was nothing wrong with it, just nobody liked to drive it. No power steering, no power brakes, manual shift, it wasn't fast. So I just cleaned up the farm and that was one of the ones I got rid of. So I don't really mind losing that car. Oh, do I have some kitty coming? How are you doing? Meow. Oops. Always some random cattage in my videos, right? Hi, Teddy. Well, I got a list here. Next one is racing. Why aren't we doing any racing videos? The kind everybody got sick of last year when we were on the field, we were doing it so much. Well, reason being, we got crops growing this year. So we can't drive on the fields. Last year we had wheat, and wheat is harvested in mid-July, and so we would have been racing already, but not when beans are growing. We've got soybeans, and soybeans won't be harvested till the middle of October, and that leaves us a short window of time to when the farmer who rents my land plows it up again, and next year he's planting winter wheat, so that means he'll be plowing and planting in the fall. And we may only have a week or a few days to go driving on the field if it's not too muddy and the weather's good. So I only now have just my long driveways, but the problem is they're only one car wide, so you can't race side by side. And the longest stretch goes right by my building where there's a little curve and where the power box is. There's a, and when you start going really fast around there, your car just floats on the gravel and it can slide out and hit the power box. And the last time one guy hit that, it cost him $5,000 to have it replaced. Next is catnip. This is a good year for catnip, and there's lots growing everywhere, and I just don't grow it on my farm. It grows wild all around, and I've done a lot of searching in my van, and I found lots more little nests of catnip growing all over the place. So i hopefully going to have enough that I don't run out this year. Last year I put a little advertising on YouTube, and I sold out in 10 hours. This year I've got a great big drying trailer to dry a lot more of it. I found a lot more of it, certainly still growing it on my own property. So don't be asking about buying it until I make a commercial when I harvest it. This year the catnip is maturing two or three weeks earlier than normal because we had such a warm spring. I'm going to harvest it a little bit earlier than normal to make it more potent. I harvested it about two weeks late last year when the plant wasn't as sticky on the buds and that reduced the strength of the buds. So this year I'm going to get it right on time and have the most chronic nip you, your cats have ever tried. So just wait to the commercial when I'm done advertising it and shown drying it. Then contact me to buy some. The half car was scrapped out last year too. Had way too many things wrong with it. So I'm going to build a new half car and it might be out of my 98 Plymouth Breeze. Oh, and one more thing. Everybody keeps bugging me about why Rick doesn't race his dune buggy go-kart against my cart. Well, reason being is, one, we don't have the field available for side-by-side -side racing. And number two, the clutch is really bad in it, so it slips a whole lot as soon as you drive it for a minute or two. Well, Rick is maybe too cheap, I don't know, but he, it's been a year and a half and he hasn't even driven that thing because all it needs is a clutch. Just a bunch of those discs that come from a motorcycle engine. If anybody has a clutch for a 1983 650 Yamaha, just the disc, Rick is interested and maybe he'll get motivated enough if I kick his ass and he'll put the clutch in and things will be great again because that thing's a fun machine. I, it's just stupid having it hang around in a nice summer like this. Well, I thought of some more questions to answer. Here they are. Well, I used to have a pair of Lincolns I got for free last year in great shape and an old Honda Accord wagon, and the little Nissan from Pasadena. Well, those cars were all just too good to destroy, so YouTubers just randomly came over and bought them off me in just as-is condition. I didn't fix anything on them. I just sold them cheap, and they turned out to be great cars. Um, another a lot of bunch of people asked me why we don't drive a car really fast off Sky Hill and launch some air. Well, most likely what's going to happen is the car is going to land on its nose, flip over, do end overs, crush the roof, 
and kill us. So we don't want to do that and it's a shitty hill to do a ghost ride off of because it only has a 50 foot takeoff on the top of it so you can't get much speed anyways. Yeah and people have been bugging me for two years why I haven't made any bee attacking videos. Well last year summer of 2009, kitty, it was way too cold and wet and my beehives really never went anywhere. They, all those little nests in the cars only got about that big. Normally they turn into big fat bee burgers and they're worth attacking. So I decided to just let them reproduce and not hurt any and hope for a better summer so we could have more bees next year. This summer we have had a lot of hot weather, we've have had a lot of wet weather, but so far the bee population is looking a lot better. So maybe when August comes around there'll be enough troops that I can do battle with them. So look forward to more bee battles. Osama Bee Laden, we gotta seek him out and destroy. We gotta eat some bee burgers. There's gotta be a little bit of shock and awe to, you know, demoralize the troops. <laughs> It'll all come back. And another thing everybody asks me, why did I buy the farm? Because it looked like a fun place to have for a guy like me. Yeah, I never wanted to farm it. I had no particular reason to buy a farm other than I wanted to expand my mind and my creativity. And this looked like the right place. It had a little bit of everything to have that kind of fun. It was cheap back then, so it was a great investment. So even if I didn't do anything with the farm, I never would have regretted it. But look what it's turned into now. Canada's most famous farm. <laughs> Strange what the internet can do. and. I never used to have anything to do with computers. <laughs> Sweet. Yes, always stealing a hug. Say goodbye. Nip's coming soon.